Do you want to start using power apps on your Windows machine? Now you can install power apps for Windows. If you started to develop or use power apps applications, you know that native interface to work on that is browser that you can use. But right now, Microsoft provides the possibility to bring that interface as a separated application on your Windows PC. So let's learn how to install Microsoft Power Apps for Windows. And if you will like this video, please leave the thumbs up. If you want to get the notifications about the new videos, please subscribe to the channel. We move to our desktop on Windows and to install Power Apps application, we need to go to the Microsoft Store. As soon as you will open that app, go and search for Power Apps, you will find the new application that is provided for you and which you can install on your Windows PC. It will take few moments to download and install this application and as soon as we will open it, you will be able to log in and have native interface, some kind of player that will display Power Apps application on your desktop. Power Apps application is installed, let's open it. Of course, you will need to log in to your Microsoft 365 account. Power Apps application for Windows is some kind of player for your apps that are deployed there. So you cannot edit them here, you cannot create them here. This is the space where you can open it, execute them, insert the data. So this is most likely end user interface to work with the applications. And probably this will not be the game changer for you, but still at the same time, you can engage some users in working with the data in the Power Apps using exactly this interface. So idea behind it is to use that kind of environment to make possible for some users to execute the apps. Remember, there are some limitations. I already get the feedback that advanced application that using SharePoint images inside it have some problems with displaying them, but still majority of the apps will work perfectly well in that kind of user interface. So if you have the business users who need to have this application icon on the Windows bar to start to use it, this is the best way to handle that kind of situation. Moreover, you can see that user interface of this application is very simple. You can sort the apps, you can search for the specific application. If there will be a lot of them, you can sign out from your account and set very basic settings and send feedback. So this is starting point for having power apps on your window desktop. If you're using power apps heavily in your organization, I highly recommend you to start to promote this way of working with your applications.